decade since his retirement, Mike Schmidt's name still echoes through the annals of sports history, and for very good reason. From his early days on the diamond to his iconic moments as an MLB superstar, stay with us as we unravel the captivating tale of a true baseball genius. Mike Schmidt's path to greatness was anything but easy, but precisely those challenges make his journey all the more captivating. His earliest days tell the story of his forging into baseball folklore, the birth of a legend. Michael Jack Schmidt's tale began on September 27, 1949 in Dayton, Ohio, when he was born to his parents Jack and Lois Schmidt as one of two kids. His parents owned and operated the Phillips Aquatic Club, a long-standing establishment in Dayton founded in 1865 by Lois's great-grandfather Charles Phillips. From a young age, Schmidt displayed a keen interest in sports and showed natural athletic talents. Everything from the crazier things like tree climbing to more organized sports like football, basketball, and baseball. Young Mike made it all look easy. His father taught him the game of golf, adding to his sports repertoire, which ignited a lifelong interest in the sport. But it wasn't always easy juggling so many sports together. In fact, once led to a near-death experience when he was just five years old. The story behind that? Well, back in 1954, when he was only five years old, Schmidt had an accident while tree climbing that saw him fall off a tall tree. Crazy as it sounds, it had been better if he had just fell to the ground and cracked a couple of bones. Oh, you heard that right, because in an effort to break his fall, Mike grabbed onto dangling live electrical wires. The result? High voltage shock causing multiple burns and bruises. The shock was so jarring that his heart literally stopped for a while. Essentially, Mike Schmidt was dead, aged just five. But fortunately, most of the electricity dissipated into the earth as he touched the ground and he survived both the fall and shock. And this was just the first of many physically endangering situations he encountered even before Major League Baseball. He attended Fairview High School playing all of baseball, football, and basketball for his school. However, recurring knee injuries curtailed his basketball and football pursuits, leading him to focus exclusively on baseball, a decision that did eventually provide the game with one of its best ever. Known for his relentless work ethic, he had to spend countless hours at the batting cages because, well, frankly speaking, his baseball skills without training were rather underwhelming. Yeah, you can quote that anywhere. Mike Schmidt is proof of the impact of hard work and practice more than anything else. Dude was far from a natural-born baseball player. As a switch hitter, he struggled to display power and often found himself outmatched. His underwhelming performance in high school led to limited interest from pro teams and universities. Oh yeah, he was that bad. Mike would later decide to attend Ohio University in hopes of becoming an architect. However, he took one last leap of faith in the game of baseball and joined the college's baseball team, the Ohio Bobcats, as a walk-on during his first year. Thankfully, college was the turning point for Schmidt's baseball skills. All of a sudden, definitely not. From struggle to stardom, sure, things took a turn in college, but it didn't happen immediately. The words darkest before the dawn never been truer. In fact, things were a bit rough for Schmidt. He only managed to smack one home run throughout his entire first year. His dedication prompted him to spend his entire summer playing baseball just to improve. So he played in his hometown summer league, and there was significant progress in both his defense and offense. When Schmidt returned to college for another round of baseball, his coach, Bob Wren, convinced Schmidt to ditch switch hitting and focus on batting right-handed full-time. And that decision paid off, and Schmidt took his game to a whole new level. His hard work approach during the summer before his sophomore year also gained the attention of Dayton's summer league team coach, Ted Mills. Coach Mills was so impressed that he couldn't keep it to himself. He called up Bob Wren, Schmidt's iconic college coach, and raved about his talent. He even went the extra mile and wrote to the California Angels, letting them in on the secret of Schmidt's abilities. By the time Schmidt graduated from Ohio University, his baseball skills had improved greatly. Batting average skyrocketed from 260 to a jaw-dropping 310. Not only that, but he was named All-American shortstop not once, but twice. It almost sounds like he's locked into a secret cheat code. By 1970, he helped his team win the NCAA District 4 title and even made it to the College World Series, finishing in fourth place. Schmidt finished his college career with a 330 batting average and a total of 27 home runs. 
runs. With the stage set for a stellar professional career, Mike Schmidt grabbed the opportunity with both ends and embarked on a journey to MLB stardom, the meteoric rise of a star. Schmidt's improvement did not go unnoticed by his team and fans, and in 1971, he got drafted by the Philadelphia Phillies. After honing his skills in the minor leagues, he made his major league debut in September 1972. However, it wasn't until 1974 that Schmidt truly blossomed as a Phillies player. He not only led the league in strikeouts, he also topped the charts in home runs for the next two years. One of the most unforgettable moments in his career occurred during that remarkable 1974 season. In a memorable Houston showdown, Schmidt unleashed his power in the first inning against the Astros' Claude Osteen. With runners on first and second, he launched a mighty shot towards center field. This impressive feat involved the baseball colliding with a public address speaker, traveling an astonishing 300 feet from home plate and soaring 117 feet in the air. Schmidt hit a single that not only left the ballpark, but also shattered a speaker hanging from the ceiling at the Astrodome. As time passed, Schmidt continued to refine his swing and dominate as the home run leader. In 1978, Schmidt had firmly established himself as one of the Phillies' standout players. Despite his initial reluctance, he assumed the role of team captain, a position that came with its own set of challenges. That year, his performance suffered a bit, with only 21 home runs and 78 runs batted in RBIs. However, Schmidt's resilience and dedication were evident as he quickly bounced back the following season. In 1979, he reached new heights with a career high of 45 home runs, reminding everyone of his ability to overcome obstacles and shine when it mattered most. Crazy how the next year was even better. In 1980, Schmidt had an incredible season, hitting 48 home runs and breaking the record for most home runs in a season by a third baseman. Schmidt's greatness was so undeniable that many considered him the greatest draft pick of all time. Even years after after his career, he remains unmatched in terms of impact he had on the team that drafted him. Find Schmidt's story exciting? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more intriguing stories from the world of baseball. Frankly speaking, Mark Schmidt attained a level of greatness that's hard to put into words. The closest we can get to describing it is with his unending list of honors and achievements. The remarkable works of a baseball legend. Schmidt's influence on the Philadelphia Phillies was absolutely remarkable. The team experienced an unforgettable year marked by High's remarkable fielding and batting skills, leading the team to their sole World Series championship. Schmidt's outstanding performance earned him the title of most valuable player in both the National League and the World Series. Beyond his offensive prowess, Schmidt's defensive skills were equally impressive, earning him non-stop consecutive Gold Glove awards from 1976 to 1986, with only 1985 being the exclusion. And that's just the tip of the iceberg that is Mark Schmidt's greatness. During his tenure with the Phillies, he led the team to secure two National League pennants in 1980 and 1983 and another World Series championship in 1980. Schmidt was named Most Valuable Player three times in 1980, 1981, and 1986 and was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York, 1995. Is there more? Of course there is! He led the National League in home runs eight times, concluding his illustrious 18-year career with 548 home runs, then ranking ninth on the all-time list and 1,595 runs batted in. The baseball icon retired in 1989 after 18 years of being a professional baseball player. After retiring, Schmidt chose a more private life instead of pursuing a managerial or coaching role in baseball. He contributed to baseball by writing articles for CBS and participating in charity golf tournaments. But that didn't mean the end of his trophy collection. You heard that right. Schmidt continued to rack up achievements even after putting away his baseball kit. Schmidt's outstanding performance in the 80s earned him the coveted title of the Player of the Decade by the Sporting News in 1990. The following year, in 1991, Schmidt received another prestigious honor when he was inducted into the Peter J. McGovern Little League Museum's Hall of Excellence. He joined Nolan Ryan as one of only two Major League Baseball players to receive this distinction at the time. In 1995, Schmidt's incredible career earned him 
him a well-deserved spot in the National Baseball Hall of Fame. In fact, he received an impressive voting percentage of 96.52%, ranking as the fourth highest at the time. Schmidt's impact reached new heights in 1997 when he was chosen as the starting third baseman for the prestigious Major League Baseball all-time team. This honor was celebrated during the 1997 All-Star Game, where Schmidt's contributions were recognized. In 1999, Schmidt's legacy was firmly established as he ranked 28th on the Sporting News list of the 100 Greatest Baseball Players. He was the highest ranked third baseman and the top player from the post-1967 era. Schmidt was also selected as the starting third baseman for the All-Century team, commemorated at the 1999 All-Star Game. To top it all off, in 2004, a larger-than-life statue of Schmidt was unveiled outside Citizens Bank Park, which just serves as a permanent reminder of his inspiring career. Truly, one of the game's best ever. If you enjoyed this video about the baseball genius of Michael Schmidt, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one too. Let us know in the comments if there's another baseball player whose journey you'd like us to cover. See you there.